yes yes you're welcome to earn cryptos in the previous video you learned impulsive candles in this video you're going to learn inside bar candles okay so when you have candles moving up like this example now this buyer's impulse that is we have candles breaking the eye so what we look at is we look at this candle now is the first candle we're looking at on the list now this candle as it is we'll look at the low and we'll look at the high so right now this is the low of this candle and this is the eye of this candle so we'll now check the next candle did it break above it if it breaks above the previous candle then we'll say it's an impulsive candle meaning price is going higher okay for the buy side now if we have a candle that breaks higher the attention automatically moves to the next candle that breaks higher okay any candle that forms after this candle that do not break above it or below it is called an inside bar candle so as you can see we have this candle this one this one and this one these three candles they all are formed inside the eye and the low of this candle so all of these three candles now are called inside bar candles because they do not break above or below the highest candle coming from the left so these candles now they've not made any difference to the chart until we have a break above this candle that is the highest before we can say we now have the break of structure or continuation of the impulse that was started by the first candle and then the second candle so Bob if you move ahead to the fourth candle after this candle you can see now that this candle broke above the eye of the highest candle so far so meaning that attention will now shift to this candle right now and this is the candle we will now be observing the eye and the low okay so this is a new candle we are now looking at so this candle now will now decide help us to know if we have a break of structure to the upside or if we have a valid pullback to the downside which is what we did we have now so this candle now indicates that we have a valid pullback because it broke the low of the highest candle okay so similarly for the seller side you can see from the first candle we have this impulse to the downside so meaning we are considering the high and the low of this first candle so now when you check the next candle it broke below it meaning the attention will now shift to this next candle because it broke below it's going lower okay so we have our attention shifting sorry now this is the next candle we are considering the high and the low now if you check the next candle it also broke below the previous candle so meaning that attention has shifted from this candle to this candle this is the low of this candle now so we have the high and the low now if you look at these two candles in between they are inside this candle they are inside this candle they do not break below it or above it so these two green candles are inside bar candles because they do not form above or below this candle that is the longest to the downside because these are sellers candle.
so if we go to the next candle which is this one we can see that it broke below this candle meaning that attention will now shift from this to this okay so we are always considering the candle that broke to the down the most so and as you can see now we have a pull back to the upside and this candle broke above giving us a pull back to the upside so this candle is not an inside back candle because it broke to the upside but these two candles here they are inside back candle because we were considering this candle and these two of them did not break above or below the candle so that's how to know inside back candles so with more practice it will get easier okay so if we look at the chart this move then this broke higher that's impulse this broke higher now from year to year if you look at this now this is the low of this candle and this is the eye now if you look at these three candles right here they are all inside bar candles because they do not break above or below this candle so those are inside bar candles but if you look at the next candle it went lower this one it broke below so this one now is a valid pullback because it broke below this candle that we are looking at here so i hope you can differentiate between a pullback and inside back candles okay so this is for the uptrend so let's look at an example in a downtrend these candles were coming down and the next candle breaks the low the previous candle they keep breaking the low keep breaking the low of the previous candle keep breaking the low of the previous candle now if you look at this next candle right here it's just in between this candle as you can see they not break above or below so this candle right here is an inside bar candle so that is how to spot inside bar candles okay so see you in the next video thank you